So now let's talk about what happens if you put a conductor in an electric field. We've already discussed in some of the other videos and you've got stuff in the textbook here and this comes from OpenStax which is what I assigned my students that if you place charge on a conductor the charge is going to rearrange itself and place the charge at the surface and there's a various different diagrams here and it sort of shows how this whole situation works and it gives our equations and we'll work some problems on that later but one of the things it doesn't talk about very well in the textbook, and I only briefly talked about in my other video, was what happens if you take a conductor and you put it into an already existing electric field. Now rather than try and come up with a bunch of images on my own, you'll notice I'm just using a Google image search here. And it's going to bring up lots of different information. So I just want to give you a few views of this. If I've got an electric field and I place something like a spherical conductor in it, it may actually change the shape of the field a little bit because it's going to want to pull those field lines in so that they're always coming into the surface. But we still have our same pattern that I talked about in a little bit of uh, the earlier video, that the electrons are drawn towards where the electric field enters the surface, and that leaves positive unmatched protons on the other side. Now, it gives some other examples here where it talks about the field. Now this one is an actually charged one and it's got some interesting stuff in it. This one here again shows us a little bit that the charges sort of separate out. One of the diagrams I like a lot is, let me find it, scroll down the page a little bit, here we go. So this particular one, and they've got a higher resolution image one, this is on Wikimedia Commons. You've got a positive charge which would normally make the electric fields go straight out. But we place a couple of conductors, a rectangular one and a few odd shapes in there. Again, charges are going to tend to build up on one surface or another and that may actually deflect the field lines a little bit. But you should be noticing a pattern that wherever the electric fields enter a surface, you've got negative charges. And wherever the electric fields would exit, that's where we've got the positive charge. But it's not that the field line comes in, goes through, and comes out. Instead, the electric field line actually stops on the negative charge. And then the positive that's on the other side is where the electric field then resumes. So from an outside view, it might look like the electric field lines go all the way through. But in reality, there's no electric field inside these conductors. But this is one way we can sort of show where the charge distribution is building up. Keep that in mind when we move on to the next part and we start talking about one of our questions on our worksheet. And you can Google and do a few extra image searches to get some extra information as well.